Hey you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got from Nailed by Naya. Um, I don't wanna show you the front portion because my address is on there. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out um, what I purchased from her. So I got some nail display tips and I purchased three of these. But yeah, so I got some nail display tips. I got three of these. Um, and I'll try to write the prices down. And then I got some glitter powders as well as some pigment powders. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over that with you guys. That's much better. But um, I got these powders. So I got a total of, so I got 11 powders and then three packs of the nail tips and also um, I received a free gift which I'm thankful for period thanks so these are some butterfly stickers and I'm definitely gonna put these to use so we're gonna go ahead and just swatch these so I can show you guys what's going on um, the first color that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys is the color frost and this is pretty much the bottle that it comes in um, and what I noticed um, the glitter powders and um, the regular pigment powder is like there's a total difference in the box, but I guess because glitter is like more loose or whatever, I understand. So um, this is the color Frost, and it's like um, a light, light blue type of vibe. And we're going to go ahead and swatch it to see what's going on. Okay. This is how it looks, you guys. So we gonna go ahead and see. Okay, y'all, so, like I said, I'm not the best swatcher, but what I like about it is that it went on pretty dry, as you guys can see, because I didn't wet the brush up, but um, I can tell that this has a lot of control. But yeah, y'all, it goes on really, really smooth. But dang, I feel like, dang, this is only one ounce. Like, whew. I ain't trying to waste no powder. So, um, but I like how it applies. Like, it's really, really soft. And it's really smooth. Like, this is my first time working with, like, something like this. But as you guys can see, it's definitely moving. So... I definitely see that I would like this powder because I can get it to move to where I want it to go. It's not gonna give me problems with that. I really like this color, it's really cute. I'm trying to put my brightness down so you guys can like see it. Nice, I'm gonna put it against my skin so you guys can really see the color. So this is the color Frost. So far so good, like it applied really, really smooth for me. It didn't give me any issues. So I'm definitely going to be investing in more of her powders and this is such a beautiful color. Really pretty, really nice. I'm going to put it against my skin so you guys can really see the color. Yes, that is very cute. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next color. And the next color that I have is called, um, it's a yellow color, like a mustardy type of vibe, and it's called Yolk. But this is the color Yolk, and yes, I mean, just the color that I need. So the next color is called Passion Fruit. Yes, I really like this color, y'all. It's like a dark orangey peach type of vibe. Um, I really like it. I think it's really cute. But this is a beautiful color, yes. It's like a nice creamy, I love this color. Really nice. Pollen. I don't like pollen, but 
I just thought this would be a nice color. So this is like a nice bright pastel green type of vibe. And it's really clean, really nice. All right, so this is the color Pollen. And I don't know why I feel like mixing in some glow in the dark powder into this powder because it already looks like it to me. I don't know. But it gives me that yellow cast like a glow in the dark powder would do. So that's something to consider. I might put in some glow in the dark powder in here just to just because I feel like the powder won't mess up the color. Okay, so my last pigment color is gonna be this color and um, it's called Stink Bug. And I like this powder, y'all. Like, it's just, it looks like it's gonna be dry, but then when you apply it, it, it moves. Like, it just goes, like, look at that. All right, and I'm gonna get my skin so you guys can see. And this is the color Stink Bug, really beautiful. And you can see the difference in the green. This is like more of a darker, this is like lighter, more olivey. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the glitter portion. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. So the first color that I'm gonna show you guys is Shakira, period, all right. So, um, and this is what I really like about um, her powders as well. For the glitter pigments, it has like this top and I really like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the bottom of my brush and just mix this up a little bit. Just to make sure we picking everything up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and apply Shakira and see what's going on with her. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit. Oh no, we didn't. Okay. So we're just gonna put that whole thing on there. My bad, y'all, the bead was really small. I feel like I should do a redo because I had that big clump in it, but it's like a green. Alright, so the next color is Rosette. Y'all, look at this rosette color. It's so freaking cute. The next color is called Nymph, and we're gonna leave it at that. Like Nymph? I said we're gonna leave it at that. And this is the color Nymph. Freaking stunning. The next color is called Serpent. And y'all, this is a beautiful green. This isn't gorgeous. This is like one of the prettiest colors ever. And the reason why I think it's so pretty is because like it changes up so much. Like it looks green and then it looks gold and then it looks like orange. I'm gonna put the brightness down so that you guys can really see 
what's going on with it. This is absolutely gorgeous. The camera does not do it justice at all, y'all. This color is called Cleopatra. But it's a beautiful purple. Let me put the brightness up so that you guys can see what's going on. Absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. Last but not least, last but not least, baby doll. Poor baby doll. Cause I don't see no way. You just gotta build this one on. So this is something that I'll apply and I won't be selfish so that I can really see what's going on because it's so clear that you won't notice it, but like after you apply it on, it looks so beautiful, it's so pretty. So I know this is gonna look cute with like my unicorn nails or anything that I do that's whimsical or I just need a little bit of you know depth in the background, I'll definitely use this color. It is so freaking gorgeous.